you've got a system, there's really two ways that you can use a matrix to solve this. So whenever you, you're dealing with, with a matrix or matrices in plural, there's two ways. The first way is you create an augmented matrix. And then you put that augmented matrix into RREF form. The second way you can do this using a matrix is what's called the inverse method. Now this method, this, this one right here, it will tell you if there's one solution, if there's no solutions, or if there's infinitely many. This one really only tells you if there is one solution. And it'll tell you if there is uh, infinitely many or none, but it won't tell you which one. This one will. This will tell you if which one, exactly the answer. This one's kind of ambiguous in if there is no solution or infinitely many. All right. But let's look at this, this, this version right here, this method right here. So I'm going to assume that you know how to write these in a um, matrix equation. Now I, I picked a real easy system here. Two numbers that add to give you four, but subtract to give you two. And I, I'm going to go ahead and start with the answer. All right, three plus one is four, and three minus one is two. So that's the answer we want to try to get out of this. So I'm going to assume you can put this into a matrix equation form. You write a matrix coefficient, matrix of your coefficients, one, 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 negative one. You write a matrix of your variables. Now, if you take this matrix times this one, you will get this part of the this this half of the of the system. And if you don't remember how it, you need to know how to multiply two matrices, one times x plus one times y, one times x plus one negative one times y. That gives you this whole matrix right here, these four bits of information. And that's supposed to equal the answer matrix. And it, I've got another video that explains this stuff right here. All right, so if, if not, click the link and get to that. So you get your, your matrix equation. Well, the idea here is if you take, I'm just going to call this matrix A, this matrix X equals matrix B. If you multiply matrix A, if you multiply this side over here by A inverse, and multiply this side over here by A inverse, then A inverse times A equals the identity matrix. Well, anything times the identity is just that thing. So basically, it's like multiplying by 1, and you just don't write it. It essentially cancels, essentially. So they call this the inverse method because you take the inverse, find the inverse of this matrix, and multiply it by this matrix, and it will equal it'll tell you what this matrix is. All right. Here's the catch. Not all matrices have an inverse. If you wind up and this does not have an inverse, then it's either no solution or infinitely many solutions. All right. But let's go ahead and do this first here. And you can do this in the calculator. You put that in for inverse A. So, uh, let's see. I got an old calculator. I actually have a matrix button. I'll go over to edit. It's a 2 by 2. It's a 1, 1, 1, negative 1. So I got that matrix in there. So what is the what is the inverse? So for the main screen, I'm going to pick A and then hit the inverse button, which is right here. X to the negative 1. Hit enter. And it does. It has a matrix. It does have an inverse. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, negative 0.5. We want to multiply that by 4, 2. The answer matrix. Now, you can do this two ways. You can multiply this by hand if you want. But I'm, going to, I'm going to put this matrix in my calculator. Go to edit. Oh, matrix A. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to go to B. It's a 2 by 1. Put in a 4 and a 2. Okay, quit to the main screen. 
I'm going to put in matrix A inverse, A inverse times B. I want to write that on the main screen. So matrix A inverse times matrix B. There's my matrix, my answer matrix. 3, 1, which is what I said it was to begin with. This is called the inverse method. So I'll run, run you by this again. What do you do? So I'm going to give uh, you the first thing you do, you write it as an equation, matrix equation. So our, in our example, is x plus y equals 4, x minus y equals 2. So that equation is 1, 1, 1, negative 1, x, y, 4, and 2. I'm going to name this matrix A, this matrix X, and this matrix B. You want to find, to find this matrix is A inverse times B. The inverse of this matrix times B. So you need to find the inverse of this. I'm going to do it in the calculator. I'm just going to in. So how do you do that? Put A into calculator. Hit A inverse, enter. Bam! It tells you what the matrix is. Or you can put A in the calculator, put B into the calculator, and you get, and then type A inverse times B. Bam! It just gives you the answer. 3, 1. Okay? If, if, but that's a big if. A has to have an inverse. So what if it doesn't have an inverse? So let's take an example. Negative x plus 2y equals 10. Negative 2x plus 4y equals 20. So what is A here? Negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4. xy. And B would be 10, 20. Well, let's figure out what A is. The inverse of A. It's 2 by 2, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4. And then I'm just going to figure out if that has an inverse or not. I'm just going to go matrix A inverse. A is not invertible, it's this singular matrix. You, there is no matrix, that, there is no inverse to this matrix. So this method is, it's your met, you can't do anything else to, with this method. So you've got two options now. It's either, the answer is either no solution, meaning there's not two numbers you can plug in and it work into both equations, or it's infinitely many solutions. So to figure out which one's which, you need to simplify, you, you got to pick another method. <laughs> And uh, elimination method would work here. All right. So if I multiply the top by negative 2, I get two new equations. 2x minus 4y equals negative 20. That's my new top. The, the bottom is still 2x plus 4y equals 20. And I did negative 2 because I wanted these to cancel. Negative, negative is positive. So that cancels to 0. This cancels to 0. And that cancels to 0. So if you get all zeros, it's infinitely many. Or, in this case, we call it dependent. Call it dependent. If you got all zeros and then a number, that's inconsistent. That's inconsistent or no solution. If you'd added those together, you get zero, zero, and then a number. That's what I mean. Like you got two, two, or whatever your equations are, add them together, you know that's no solution. Or inconsistent. I like the uh, RREF method, but to each your own. Know.